Today I'm going to teach you how to make an AI chatbot that follows a set of instructions step by step and then performs an action. There's a lot of reasons why you'd want to make a chatbot like this, but I'll just give you a quick demonstration. This is a sort of automatic tool builder. It asks you questions and then builds a tool. So let's, let's talk to it. It says, are you ready to get started? What type of tool do you want to build? I want to build a tool for learning physics. What do people do with this tool? Uh, they will use it to learn physics and quiz themselves about material. That sounds like a valuable tool. What's your unique take on it? How will it be different than other tools? This one will include funny physics jokes and puns. It will not use big language and speak like a uh, speak with a 14 year old vocabulary. So this is kind of like my physics for dummies tool. Let's see. So as you see, it's asked me three questions and now it's performing an action. So this is really cool. That if you like this, you say yes, and it is then gonna build us the tool. So what I'm gonna teach us how to do today is how to build a tool like this, how to build a tool that does a certain set of uh, things, asks a set of questions, and then performs an action. So here's our tool. And here it is. Now that you've seen what one of these finished tools looks like, let's build our own. For this, we're going to make a fitness and diet planner. What this is going to do is ask some basic questions and learn about us, and then come up with a tailored plan for the end user. So I'm going to paste in the basic structure of this thing. We're going to have a personality, some rules, conversation steps, and then finally, the final uh, thing we wanted to do for it. So here we just say that you're an expert fitness planner and dietitian, you learn about people, then you create a plan for them. Here we have the rules. These are the rules we want to make sure it follows. So here we say, be sure to ask all the questions in the conversation steps one at a time. And once you get a good answer to the question, move on to the next question. Now here is the crucial part, the conversation steps. These are the questions and the things we wanted to do before it carries out its final action. So we say, to start the conversation, ask these questions, then move on to the plan creation step. So first we say, greet the user and give them a high level introduction of what you'll do together. Then we can set question one. Maybe question one is, um, what are your weight loss goals? Question two can be, um, do you prefer a vegetarian or meat based diet? Then finally we can ask, Maybe, do you prefer cardio or weightlifting? Now, of course, you can make these questions whatever you want. You're probably the expert. You know what is actually valuable information to get. This is just an example. Finally, we're going to tell it to create the final diet plan. And maybe we can make this very specific. You can say, after the users answer the question, create a diet plan for them. It should be a seven-day plan. Um, labeled Monday through Friday with food recommendations and also exercises. So now we can kind of talk to this thing. Hey, what are my weight loss? I want to lose 20 pounds. And see, this is great. It's asking me this question, which is our first one. It's asking me the second question. Do you prefer a vegetarian diet or meat-based diet over here? I love eating meat. Uh, I'm down for both. So now, after it's asked these three questions that I've told it to ask, it's now performing its final action. Now, this is just a sort of skeleton for how to write this sort of prompt. And of course, you'll want to infuse your own expertise and knowledge into it. But using this framework, you can achieve some really powerful things. First, you can gather as much information from the user as possible, and then you can use this information to perform a final action. I hope this video has been helpful in demonstrating the sort of cool and complex multi-step chatbots that you can build. There's a lot of really cool possibilities out there, 
if you're just willing to take the time to write a good enough prompt. If you have any questions, please leave it below in the comments. Thanks.